All right, welcome back to a rainy day of old school. Now we've got our corn planted. It's growing pretty good. We've got, uh, I don't even remember now, four fields I think to plant today. This one, I think we're gonna put some soybeans in it. And then I redid some of these fields over here. I made them a little bit bigger, more square. Put some lime down on them. This one especially is way bigger now, but it's square too, so. We're gonna put sugar beets in this field. I don't know yet what we're gonna put in that one. Probably soybeans in this one, since it's the big one. Some soybeans in two. We can put canola in this one maybe. Actually, if we put canola in this one, we won't have to fool with it for a while because it takes a long time for it to grow. Um, soybeans here. Only thing I know for sure is sugar beet in that one. But yeah, that's where we're at. And our three cornfields are growing pretty good. We're gonna go sell, I, we're short on a little bit of money because I bought a bunch of fertilizer and, um, let's see, what else did I buy? Fertilize, herbicide, seeds. I went ahead and went and got all that picked up. And we're gonna skip up until the rain stops, which I think is gonna be around 10 o'clock. I'm not planting in the rain. We'll get these right here sold off. Give us a little bit of money in. Not a, probably not a lot, but you know, it'll be a little bit. Yeah, sixty five hundred dollars. I mean that's I'd take sixty five hundred dollars, I mean. You know. But we got a lot of work to do today. We're gonna plant. I think that's about it actually. I got, got seeds down here. It is. We'll take it back up here with us. So I got liquid fertilized too, so we can put it in our planter. Uh, I don't think we'll have to roll them too. We'll start with this field just because it's the awkwardly shaped field and I can't really get it straight right now. But I will at some point. Um, we will sell our silage, I think, in December, I think. Which gives us time to try to find a... See, I got it stocked up in there on the... See, we can actually take this over here to our... To our planter here because I think it can use some seeds. Yep. Alright. But yeah, I think it's December when our sorghum is going to be, or our silage is going to be highest price. 188. Yep. December, February, somewhere around in there. I don't know what this tells us. January. So I mean, actually we could get probably almost just about, about the same amount of price, but our sorghum is going in January two. So we'll do that. So I guess we need to start planting. I'm gonna hook this one now. We'll get them planted and rolled and we'll be good. I also need to cut out or advance till this rain stops. I think it's like 10 a.m. 10 a.m. something like that. Not too bad as we run over our... Okay, so we're gonna need fertilize and seeds. Let's put soybeans in. 
Actually, you know what? Let's put canola in this front field. And that way we're kind of done with it for a while. We will have to fertilize it next time, but it's not like we'll be harvesting, but we will get a good amount of money out of it, and I don't think I can fit through here. So let's get our seeds out here. Fertilize out here. I need to move that truck. Let's get it over here out of the way. Oh, 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 oh. Almost hit it, but I didn't. Alrighty, let's advance our time until the rain stops. There we go. We'll cut it down to three since. Well, if I can get my vehicle situated here. And we'll put canola in this field. It will take it a while to grow, but we won't have to fool with this field anymore for a while. And then we'll put soybeans in the big field down there because we'll get all kinds of money for that. And I think that'll work for us. All right. Like I said, we'll have to roll this. I don't know if we will uh, have to weed it. We will have to fertilize it again. But that's alright. That'll be next time. We'll put some fertilizer in it. Yeah, this series is, uh, this series is tough. I'll go ahead and tell you, it's very tough. And I'm trying to do stuff halfway decent like I'm I'm going to use super strength a lot like the trees and stuff just because it's easier I mean if you struggle with stuff in real life and stuff's real tough in real life why would you want to keep that going in the game like it makes no sense to me <laughs> but at the same time with the silage I went ahead and done that so that'll be something new for me is using the uh the little skid steer. We do need a trailer though. I'm fairly certain of that. And while we're talking about trailers, anything in here on sale? Absolutely not. I mean, mm, I want to think this one trailer. Or is this one? I can put silage in that. Dang, that's twenty five thousand dollars though. So if we do that, twenty two thousand. Still should be able to put silage in it, right? Hmm. But I mean, there's really not... This little dude. 15,000 liters in this. That's not bad for four thousand. So that's a possibility. I have some uh You know what, that right there may be it. That right there might be the trailer we get. Can it all yes, it can do silage. I like that. And I think it's not tall, so we can actually use 
our uh, what you call it in it. So I may almost just want to buy it to see how tall it is. We might try that at the end. If it's not, if it's too tall, then we won't get it. But I like it. It looks good. Yeah, we'll put canola in here. Sugar beets in that one. Uh, we need something like wheat or oats or something. And the other one. Just because I, I want something a little bit different, you know. And I would love to fix all these fields, spar them off better. Which I can still probably try to do. This one's just awkward. Well, all these on this side are. They're all kind of rounded like that. And I made them that way on purpose. But when you're trying to plant and everything, it gets a little bit difficult sometimes. But not too bad, I don't guess. Definitely can't hire a worker either. But I think I will hit a time lapse and we'll get going and get this done and I'll see you when we're close to finishing, I guess.
we get this right here finished up I think I've kind of forgot to get the uh, sugar beet harvester thing of a jig that I need so I'm gonna have to buy that so I don't know if we can get the trailer now but we do have some logs if we need to sell you know we got we got money laying around if we need to I mean right there's one two three four five Also going over here and put some six, seven. I mean, there's plenty of logs here, so we don't have to worry. I don't know why a dude can't turn that thing, <laughs> but he's getting close to finishing that. I will do these two in between. I mean, you seen the struggle we had while we were rolling. Rolling, rolling. I don't even know anymore. Um, we'll fill this up, seeds and uh, fertilize. And we'll park her up right here. So. Somewhere around December-ish, I think, is the time. Can we fix this trailer? No, it's just a normal bale trailer. And we will get back into baling and stuff before too long. We do have all this to sell, like I said. Um, we actually have quite a bit of it, 187,000 liters, and then we got some out here we can just put back in there, uh, let's see, let's move this over here, move this here, let's kind of clean up a little bit, so yeah, we'll, we'll have to weed all this stuff next time, and fertilize it again, which is fine. That's to be expected. Our corn is looking good. Not too shabby. One thing I will say is this field up here, I absolutely despise. We're going to have to do something with this. But before I forget, unless I already have it, I don't think I do though. No. So, sugar beet, sugar beet. There we go. I don't know if that will work. In all honesty. I know this one works. But I would think this one would work too. We'll buy this one. And see how it works. If it don't, we'll sell it and get this one. This one here is good if it will work too. But I couldn't get this one to work either. I thought a trailer hooked onto this one, truthfully. But we got the older one. I think these two are the oldest. Let's see, 1960 and 1940. So this one's actually older. That's the one I got on Drifter. Yeah, Drifter series. So we'll try this one. I don't know how it's going to work. Maybe it will extend that and let's put a trailer. I don't know. If not, we can drive the truck beside of it, I think. The other one just digs it up and we have to pick it up with like the uh, little skid steer over there. Any tractors in the sale? Nope, nothing's in the sale. 
any old tractors that we would be interested in I thought about oh look at these might be something in it um yeah that one it's got the power shifts and y'all know how I feel about that Nineteen seventy two, really? Hmm. Also ninety thousand dollars. This would be more or less what we would get probably if we upgraded. And I don't even know if it'd be worth that just to go up that little bit. Truthfully. Truthfully, I don't think it's worth it. Oh, uh, this could be, though. 179 horses and 69,000. Um... I think it's the small tractors. Nope, not you, bud. Uh. That. That may end up going on, uh. The Drifter series, I think. Just to have a newer tractor. One of these. <clears throat> these right here is what I'm talking about. Get the old two-wheel drive here. And we can get it up to 150 horsepower. For 30,000 bucks. I mean, come on. I don't like that. That looks good, actually. And we could do that. I think it look good. Just like that right there. Thirty-four thousand dollars. We get a hundred fifty horsepower tractor. Now what is our? It's hundred forty-three. So that would by default be our biggest tractor so and we're about there with money now another thing I wanted to look at is putting some kind of um, greenhouse over here I don't want nothing too much just something Kind of small. I guess the one we have on uh, Drifter. I don't want the same one. Maybe we do one of these big full tunnels. Yeah, we could put it right here. We could put one in right here somewhere. Nothing's flat down here, I can tell you that. At all. So that's closest to flat we're gonna get there. 236, somewhere there. There's 32. 
it would just kind of give us a little bit extra income you know Hmm. I still like it up in here though. Like right here maybe. Right there. And what we'll do is we're not worried about um, loading and stuff. So we can, we can auto irrigate it. That probably just cost all of our money. We can activate all these and then turn them to selling. And then we just get a little bit of. That yeah, didn't take too much money. But then we just kind of get a little passive income coming in, you know? And it, it don't look too bad there, I don't think. So that will just help us get a little bit extra. You got it all. I go get fuel on both of them. They were empty. But yeah, next time we'll be... Uh, Weeding, fertilizing, all that great stuff. And we'll see what our... Uh, we'll see what our new... What's it called up here does. And that way, like I said, it's just a little bit of passive income. And it looks okay. You know? I think it looks alright. Adds to it. We will be selling this before too long. Let's check the price real quick before we leave. So it's at 160, the high is 188. So yeah, we got, and that's a bail. So it's actually 170 to sell everything. And it's going down, because we are here. So it should be going up by December. I think we'll get some in December. And I don't have seasons on, so that's why everything is, uh, random no matter which way you look the corn is in a row but yeah we'll be we'll have a pretty good harvest and stuff coming up i think our sorghum actually sells in december too right it says january so i'm gonna assume december because that's usually a month off on that little thing there so uh, January is December, January 912 is what we're looking for, and it is currently 704 is the highest. So, what can we get for sugar beets? 259. Okay, and it's in January. So, if they grow fast enough, we might be able to sell those too. What about corn? 824. It's, it's down. It's going down. It'll jump back up in December, but June is the best time for corn. Uh, what else we got? Canola is in November. We could actually sell it if we had any. Sunflowers. 1407 in February. And it's pretty high too. It's kinda it's kinda at its mid peak, so but I think we're going to be doing pretty good with money. No issues there. I need to look into uh, corn drying. I don't know if that fits into the old school theme or not. We're definitely going to be doing it on um, no man's land. And I don't know. I think it would make sense to do it on Drifter because you got smaller fields. And if we did it here, it'd also work. But like I said, I don't know if it would fit in with the old school thing. So I didn't put it in on this series yet. But that's going to do it for today. 
I will get this finished up, like I said, in between. And I will see you all next time.